Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the coverage of the Pretty World Women's Temple Championships. It's day four here in Austria in Sport Park Klagenfurt. It's the home of the Ushans. One way is here is Jasmine, and uh, the first match of today is no other than Jasmine Ushan against Bujana Sarah. And alongside me in comedy the booth, the legendary Dutch national champion Tim de Reuter. And before the match begins, I would like to thank all the, uh, the sponsor, of course, is Predator Cues, obviously, with all the equipment and the tour. Ushan Billiard Academy, Pro, Pro Billiard Series Global Partner CSI, Kamui, Alpha Coin, Roms of Puerto Rico, and Fargo Rate. So. Good morning, Marcus. Morning, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Day four in this week of so many great matches and players and uh, um, drama. And it's just getting uh, started. Now we're going to come down to the nitty gritty where all the big matches are coming up. And talking about the big uh, stars or big uh, matches. We got. Jasmine Ocean here. Uh, yeah, and also Bojana Saraj, who last year, I believe, played in the final here of the Austrian Open in the women's tournament we had. So, not shy at beating the champions around. So, let's see what uh, Jasmine is going to do today. Yesterday, I was commentating on her match against uh, Pia Filler, where she lost. 7-6 and uh, I think uh, for sure she have another uh, gear to, to level up oh yeah, she needs she to she at she least she if she's gonna go deep in this tournament yeah she didn't play too great yeah or at least not what we are used to mm -hmm. when we see Jasmine but it's a new day a fresh start she's professional she's gonna keep grinding and keep fighting until She's gonna feel uh, like her game is coming along. So once it click, you know we all know what she she's capable of doing. There's a nice view from the back. Nice clean shot. So what do you think? The six uh, doesn't go in uh, the side pocket. I think. I think she might be Does able to shoot it off the nine. With but it's it's not so not a big pocket there. So. Otherwise, she can shoot the 6-9 combination, maybe. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think she's got the angle to go maybe in between the 6 or the 6 and the 8. So I don't like to run into the 8 on the left side. Don't she's got an angle. I, I would like to sh make the 5 and draw the cue ball into the 6. Uh, yeah, run the cue ball yeah, into the 6 I'm scared and, she's and move the it eight. up. Move it, yeah. She tried to move, yeah. So they she hit the eight, like you said. That's not what she wanted to do. There is a bank if she wants to go aggressive. She can play it two ways. If she plays for the seven in the side pocket, she needs to make up her mind. The shot clock is ticking down. She already used her extension. We're playing 30 second shot clock. And you need to make up your mind fast. Safety here. Yeah, and we're playing a race to seven here. The WPA rules, which is alternate break and no early 10 ball. So the 10 ball has to be the last ball potted. Sarah, first look at her, this young lady. Yeah, still young. I think she's around 20 years old, 19 years old now and has achieved quite a bunch. Wow. Oh, nice. wow. Nice shot from her. It's a a kick very safety. Very strong shot to start with in yeah. this match. That's really nice. Well controlled. Look at this for a shot opening. And she almost got the cue ball behind him eight as well. That would have been even worse for her, Jasmine. Well, the good thing, especially about that shot, is that kicking over the short rail close to the six is not possible. So, 
It's just difficult and... Oh, almost made it. Nice speed from Jasmine, nice kick. Real good opening shots here from both ladies. Almost just got it, yeah. Playing another distance here. Would have liked to be behind the seven ball though. I think this is not really good enough. Mm. She left distance. She probably wanted the cue ball to stay closer to the rail there in the end rail. So Holland is still in. They lost last yeah, night. Yeah, they lost against Austria. Okay. Including the Ushans and Mario He. Okay. They were f they were digging Panda. really deep though. They dug deep, yeah. Yeah, because they had a sudden. How did how did they play? Did they watch it? Did how how was Nils playing? How was Bistenbok playing? Uh, against Austria. Yeah. Oh well, you could see that they played a five-hour match before that against oh, okay. Bosnia, so they were just exhausted and didn't play too well. Okay. And also, in my opinion, like they really got some weird roles as well, so mm -hmm. they never got going. Mm -hmm. Which you know is dangerous with Bicebosch. If he gets a couple rolls, then he might never miss no more. Like yeah. he, he's that kind of guy. So, yeah, oh, I was disappointed, but it's okay. Unfortunately, it's Sweden day. is out as well. Friend of mine, one of the players, Koba, he's he's sitting here next to me. But they have there were there was a lot of good matches to get to play. A lot of tough matches, like you said, long hours and and uh, get to play on this great equipment and and another experienced experience for them to, to play in this kind of tournament. We're yeah. already looking forward to the next year. <sighs> and a pretty miss hit, miss hit on the six there, but ended up pretty nice for Jasmine. As there's a obvious scratch in the side of the six. There's a good view of the predator balls. So the logo. Oh, she's kicking it here, inside. called it in the side. Just going one rail. Whoa, corner. No. I think this was quite aggressive, but she played a good speed. She didn't sell out, at least. Might go in the side, no? No, no, not from here. Might be able to bank the six ball two rails and get the cue ball two rails behind the eight. Or maybe oh she's playing low on this. Behind the seven. Nice cube of control. Some good safety here is this opening rack. Do or die match. The loser obviously is out. For Jasmine it would be a tough loss I would I would think. Playing in your home country and your home city. Well, and she yeah. already had a quite tough loss as well. Mm -hmm. Losing to Pia Phil oh. yesterday. No. It's unexpected. So, ball in hand for Jasmine to start her campaign here. And uh, another big jump here if Jasmine or Bojana, the winner of this, is guaranteed 4,000 euros. And the loser has only 2,000. So, still. Nice to play one match for a decent amount of money. Mm -hmm. I asked Ralph uh, Eckert when we commenting the other day. <laughs> I said, "What do you think about the German chance? German? <laughs> How good of a chance do they have?" He said, "They know they need to go deep so they can make some money." <laughs> <So> <laughs> To cover the expenses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and, 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 and then they lost to Chinese Taipei, or...? Uh <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they was the same time, but at least they're still in, though. Yeah, that's Fil true. Filler put it on, on exhibition last night. I was commentating on it. Unbelievable player. Unbelievable. Uh, he's in dead punch. Two rails here for the 10-ball. First game to the Austrian. 
player, Jasmine Rousseau. She takes the first game, 1-0. Some for spectators Austria. here showing up early this morning. Support her, support their their home favorite. Yeah, camera crew available too. I think it's the Austrian paper to make a couple nice shots of Jasmine. There's a view of Alison Fisher next table. Hall of Famer. Bujana. So let's see if she's gonna break from the side. A lot of players have tried to break from the side, making the one in the in the side pocket. Yeah, just and the thing I see a lot do, of times is she they are not really hitting him really straight in the face. They've been cutting him a little bit and that's the only reason why they haven't been making the one. She can just have a square hit. There you go. She made a one in the side. The but no shot on the two. No. She might have an aggressive shot if she wants to attack. She can bang the two ball on the nine. If she really wants to. I used go to break aggressive. like this when I was in the Philippines before. <laughs> so hard to break. So you break from the side because it's like breaking from the middle is like breaking in, in the mud. Nothing yeah, happens. Yeah. It doesn't open up. Yeah, but they open up here, but it's just tough to, to, to make a ball from the middle. Consistent. So let's see what she try to do. Play a safety. Maybe the cue ball behind the ten, or the leave the, the two ball in the, on the short bottom rail. Oh, did she call that nine ball just in case? Oh. It doesn't look like she did. So. Oh, and she, she gets put right back. She got put back to the table real fast. <laughs> I would take a little peek at this <laughs> yeah, first. For sure. That might be a real first. <coughs> Guarantees position on the three. What did Sarah do there? She must. Well, it might she be must a be long. real. Uh, Hundred percent sure that she. She don't want to have this. Obviously, she didn't even look at it. Forward draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and. I can't believe she didn't get up. Stops, I, I can't believe she didn't get up and look and have a look at it. Yeah, at least at least get up. Yeah. Like, I mean, you got 33 seconds to just yeah. settle down and have a look. It's a wow. surprise. So Jasmine here, to sh this can be a big turn if she runs out here. Yeah, I'm not sure how that much was kind of felt like it's unexperienced move from the yeah. young lady. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's still young, so some yeah. small stuff might happen. Might be able to play with some right spin to twist the three ball a little bit more to the left as it doesn't look like she can cut it so thin. Oh, she was okay in a mm -hmm. nice bump into the seven, but ah. it got blocked, blocking the four. That was kind of unlucky, I think. She was just making sure she made it. Yeah, and she had to play the kiss because the cue ball was going to run to the other side, so. What do we do here? Yeah. Kicking it. Yeah, she called pocket. it in the side. Well, if she makes it, big chance on getting on the five ball to continue. Almost. And let's see if this will make Bojana a little bit comfortable. Because the first game is usually a little settle down game when they get that first game on the board that's where you see someone start playing well or not mm -hmm. yeah not a real slow player she does check her angles but gets down quite quick always so I don't really expect any shot clock trouble in this match as Jasmine is not a slow player herself no she plays uh, in a decent pace yeah they're not yeah. running around no, the table no. but still they're not 
Real static. Have you seen the girl from uh, Philippines, Jessica? Well, I she, I, I watched some clips yesterday of her. She was like just running, ar running around, just uh, like playing like the young filler. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like the young filler. No, I only seen that that what was it? Thirty-five seconds run out. Yeah. That's how she plays. That's uh, I guess that's how she plays 45. the whole time, huh? Well, and she's not missing anything. Oh yeah, that's. I can't wait to watch her games. She's. Yeah, me me neither. And Bojana got on the wrong side of the seven, so she had to move the cue ball around, and I think she got too short to make stuff easy here. So might have to run into play, the ten. Yeah, play a little bump on the ten. It would be nice to bump in in the back on the back of the ten. Yeah. Is you make sure that you make the. Eight. Yeah, you don't want it's to. It's a tad of right English, right? Yeah, but you don't want to hit the edge and end up with no shot after. Mm. That's why you're coming from the back. Oh, well, she, oh, she it could miss it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, some angles you can't really see from here. Depends on what, ki uh, what camera you view we get. You know. Yeah, and this stem It's not ball. like we don't know the shots, <laughs> right? It's just a matter <laughs> of some angles we can't really. <laughs> Oh, she almost missed it. That wobbled, <laughs> but one each. Young Bojana Saraj draws so the score. Here is uh, a view of the World Temple Women's Championships Predator brought to you by Predator. Putting on all these championships, the team's championships we're going to crown <coughs> this week, and a women's world champion. So who are your picks? Let's start with the women championships. The women. Well, I've heard that Cheska Centeno has been amazing this week so far, but I haven't really got the chance to see her. So it's tough to nominate her as a f like as a, as someone that can win the tournament. You know, if you haven't seen her play. Mm -hmm. um, well, still, Kelly is still in it. You can see on the other table, Allison Fisher is still in it, and then Chen who beat. Alison Fish yesterday mm. is also on a hot streak as she just won the Canadian Predator Open. So, but of course, there's more players. So, I didn't get an answer. Who do you think? <laughs> you stuck it. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you said a bunch of players, but I didn't get one. I asked for oh, one. Who do you, not, not who do you pick? <laughs> Let's turn around. Let's you turn around. It's not that easy. I'll pick the Filipino. What's him? Jessica. I saw some clip of her yesterday on YouTube. Oh I think it's amazing. And I can't watch. I can't <laughs> wait to watch that. <laughs> you Let just want to. Yeah, see she was used like, uh, you know, like filler, owning the table. Right? So let's make let's see the schedule. Uh, I'll pick Jessica. So how about you? I am looking at the list right now, but Yuki Hiragushi, a bronze medalist at the World Games, might also be interesting. And I know Kelly is injured. Oh, and we've seen Chu Chi Yu or Chi Yu Chu from Thai. Taiwan, she played good in the teams as well, mm -hmm. so I think that's my pick. Okay, Taiwan, so you think the Taiwani? So we're going Asian this year, huh? I'm yeah, going well Filipino we and you're going Taiwanese. We, we have not had a Taiwanese World Temple Women Champion yet, so it would fit the list and we know that there's a big bunch of good players in Taiwan, so Cheska Centeno. So nice kick here from Jasmine. And then in the team event, let's pick a winner there as well. The mice when we add it. Well, I already told you that one, so you can pick now. <laughs> so let me see. It's too early for the. We got Japan questions. against Great Britain, Chinese Taipei against Austria the host country Spain against Germany Philippines versus Poland 
Here, nice hit so from Bojana. But an open shot on the one, but she closed up the two and the four. The two doesn't go in the side. Maybe there's a carom on the four, but not much Jasmine can do here. Wouldn't be surprised if she plays another safety here. I'll just commentate the game and you just check out what team you like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm not going to think about this. I really, from the beginning, uh, liked the uh, Great Britain, but you know, like you said, Kelly's kind of injured. She has some kind of she injured her, yeah. her right hand, right? Yeah. And it's all swollen up. Uh, yeah, and she didn't just play by too this good in yeah, the team as well. by this reason, I'm not. I feel like if she steps it up and she gets the treatment and everything is okay, then I like uh, Great Britain. But because of this, I gotta pick uh, Taiwan. Yeah, Taiwan was very impressive. I, mean, I think yesterday. it's gonna be a Taiwan Filipino final. So that's my opinion. Didn't manage to break open the two four, and I I do like just having a thick contact. Draw the cue ball back, and the two will go over the four towards the short rail. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad I called it right. Nice one. Does she get well controlled cue ball? Very nice safety shot there. She really looks real focused this morning, uh, Jasmine does. Steady. Yeah, some good cue ball work from both. Yeah. Wow. 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 Nice <laughs> jump shot there. Well, and this match is starting to become quite high level start yeah like not quite real high yeah, yeah, level no, start yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kick kick safeties and jump jump shots yeah not many mistakes by both players watch out. behind the five and watch out oh. uh, good. well she didn't get there but on the other side the six does cover the three and now the five ball does block almost all kick shot so there's only one shot here and that's the jump shot I think mm -hmm. trying to tie this 3-6 up huh? the 6 ball like this oh has two options here she can play another safe or she might be able to put the cue ball in between the six and the three and go for it. But I do like the save. If she can glue this to the six ball, then... Oh, I said glue it to the six ball. Mm -hmm. But I think If it would have froze, it would have been a lot tougher now. Yeah, now there might tough. be, there might be a baby chance to hit the three, but still a good, good effort. She can maybe go four rails. Yeah, hit it in front of the side pocket and go real short around the angles and mm -hmm. bump it. But Jasmine might do the same thing. Tie it up again. Yeah, it looks like it. And I would be starting to get more worried about the three fall room. Yeah, she's on two now. Yeah, if you... So, so if Sarah can place the cube behind the five. Right? Hide the cue ball behind the five, and then if Jasmine misses it, she wins the game. Yeah, I think you because just have to send the three ball up table and try to get draw him in the short rail and back out. You can put it the there and then freeze the, the cue ball behind the five. Just roll up on it. Yeah, I just wonder if it's very easy to leave that two rail kick. Just make sure you, you, you do it nice and easy. Oh yeah, this like the two rail kick yeah. was a big chance, and there is a two rail kick here, kick and stick maybe. So just make made sure you hit it. Oh, nice, nice. hit. Nice three ball as well. Leaving distance. Just had to make sure I wasn't wrong on the 
ages because I was not sure if Bojana was 19 and I just checked it. She's 20 years old and mm. Jasmine is 35. So 15 years difference between this two and doesn't look like a big difference because they've been playing well until now. Big wow. shot and whoa. <laughs> nice, really nice shot. A long, look at this, frozen on the rail, which is make it, which make it a lot tougher. Yeah, perfect. Once on you're the frozen on the rail with a cue ball like that. Nice one. Doesn't want to have too much angle. But she's okay. She can play this soft or with a little inside to leave herself a nice angle on the six. Yeah. Make sure you get above yeah. angle enough so you can come up for the seven. So back to the center of the table for the perfect angle to stun. A way out of trouble on the seven. Beautiful. Beautiful. Might be a little bit too straight, so just to stun a little bit to the side and take the A to the center pocket, the left center, I do like that. Of course, she can still force the cue ball out if she likes to, but I like to, st to really take it easy. But she managed well. Bujana looking pretty comfortable in the arena. Doesn't look like she's feeling the pressure against Jasmine yet. Looks like she's out for a walk in the morning. Oh, there's a cue. I grabbed that and run out some wrecks. <laughs> <laughs> Two balls left to take the first lead in this match for Serbia. Down goes the 10, 2 to 1 in favor of her. And John Lehman, the referee from New York. New York, New York. Amsterdam Billiards. That's where he resides. That's where he spends his time when he's not refereeing around the world. It's Jasmine, the local star. Yeah, played also very good in the teams yesterday. She was steady against uh, the last match. Or she played good. Yeah, it was. She made sure that the other players do, do wouldn't get any rhythm. So she did. So it was more experience, but still she just got people out of stroke a bunch. Mm -hmm. Which she has not really done much during the the women's tournament so far from what i have seen you know the big story is like sometimes you'd see them struggle a little bit in in some matches what do you but you when you play a lot of matches like this term this week for example when you when you can play both teams and uh singles they get more and more opportunities at the table sooner or later they're gonna find their game more and more yeah it gives them more table time so to say so you figure sooner or later it's gonna if they're struggling a little bit sooner or later they're gonna find their their game more and more so well and what also does kickstart a lot of times is that the moment where they're like behind in a match and then they make a big comeback or someone does miss the final shot like they miss the last 10 yeah. ball and then they win the match and they start to play really well because yeah. there's no pressure from there yeah so she made a ball but no open shot on the one Yeah, and this is a loser qualification match as Jasmine lost yesterday to Pia Filler, 
So the winner of this advances to the last 16 single knockout where we will play races to nine. And the loser can go home. Needs good speed. The one blast to go to the short rail and it does not go there. And Jasmine a chance here to make the one and run into the 2-6. Two, yeah. Or 2-9. Just hit the hit anything there. As long as you hit the two, you're good, I think. You gotta make it as well. Make sure you make it. Nice. Played it quite yeah. soft, maybe because there's a two nine combination. She didn't want to disturb the two and the nine. But it's a very thin hit if the combo is there or she might just roll up on the nine ball she's looking at the shot clock oh, i do she might need some more time here to make up her weigh her options yeah. what she's gonna do she called the extension i really like to just roll up on the nine <laughs> she might want to create some more distance top left Mm. Played it quite soft, I'm surprised. So a long two ball, but no open pocket. The nine is covering in that, that corner pocket. Yeah, and I'm not sure if I'm shooting bank this is over. Nine. Bank, cross bank. I do like the bank and bring the cue ball she around. It. Especially because the three ball is up there, so... There is a nice two-way if she can spin the cue ball out of the kiss. Mm -hmm. She didn't use any spin to beat the kiss there. And <laughs> oh, worked out a little funny. There is a bank. And I think that three ball does go, so she's quite straight on the bank. She might have to go here. No, she's just really trying to get her opponents to get uncomfortable. She's mm. really locking Playing the game safety. all the time. Playing safety. She's calling. She was pointing somewhere. I don't know where she pointed. Yeah, might call it in the side of the six. Or maybe she called the six. Or maybe she called a nine this way. But I was thinking maybe to go two rails. I think there was more more chance to get lucky if she hits either side. Not an easy layout. Huh? Super easy, I mean. Well, you she figure she's going to make it, but just make sure you get a good uh, angle here on the three. Three and then four is there. Yeah, it's most likely to bump the four ball here. Perfect. So let's see what kind of angle she wants to leave herself on the six. The eight is there covering, so it's you want to kind of fall uh, maybe on upper l angle so you can come around. One, two, three, four else around. Like this. Yeah, I like that. Instead of taking a long seven, now she can land much closer to the seven well it's also very natural if she just it's just thin two, with top three. spin i think she will be three or guaranteed four rails to go tomorrow. four rails one two three perfect speed 
almost too perfect. <laughs> if you can say you can be almost <laughs> too perfect. Okay, a nice angle on the seven. With three balls in front of the pocket. So top left. So both ladies are looking good so far, I think. Yeah. This morning. Better than uh, yesterday, but I think a lot of players was tired. Long day, a lot of matches. Nine and ten left in order for her to tie this match up to a piece in this race to seven. The winner goes on to try to become the world champion and the loser unfortunately have to <laughs> head home. Jasmine is it she is really home <laughs> already, so she don't have to travel anywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> and the nice little fact is Rubilan Amit from the Philippines. She is out of this tournament. She didn't get to reach to the top 16. And that means we will have at least a new champion for this year. Other players that are still in it, that have won before are one we see here, Jasmine Ushan, Kelly Fisher. Those are the two that are still in and has won before. And otherwise we will get a complete new champion. Yeah, they've been playing the World Championships in the Philippines. Must be nice for Rubilin to win the World Championship in, in her home country, in, in the Mecca of Billiards, in Manila. And now Jasmine have opportunity to win the World Championships in front of her home country, not only home country, her home city, Klagenfurt. Yeah, did cut the one too much, but it got the kiss straight in the corner and has position on the two with the three six locked up and the seven eight in a pretty tough position. One flies in the corner. Two ball, but the three ball is tied up at on the other side of the table. So maybe she's drawing back for the bank shot on the three. It's or did she play for a safe. safety? Thinning the three ball on the right with inside, pushing it towards the six and go behind the seven, eight maybe. Mm -hmm. She that caught that easy. too thick. Elevate over, over the, the rail like that. Not easy. And she might find herself glued to, to the eight here. Or she will roll up on the seven. So very important to block some rails here and there. This is good. No short rail, no long rail, no one rails available. It's a tough hit. Really tough to hit this three ball. You need to go. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see what she's trying to do here. Oh, this. Go far with some right. Nice one. Oh, wow. Nice shot. Oh, that's really she's good. a little unlucky. She will be tied up behind the six again, but this is very nicely judged. Mm, not easy. She made it look easy, though. Yeah. She's gonna be hooked behind the six now, though. 
would be nice if Jasmine can play this a little stun. No, she just took the safety like it was. So Sarok trying to kick this three ball in the side pocket here. One rail. Just make sure you hit it. Oh, needs another Whoa. rail and does it get to the rail? No. Oof. Almost. And there's a 3-4 combination, so now another tough layout here. The six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all on the same side of the table and pretty much just connecting the dots here. She's been playing good this match so far, Jasmine. Looking a lot better than earlier this week, in my opinion. Playing the correct shots. Good safety. Good cue ball. Speaking about it, throws herself on the rail. She's okay though. Just make sure you get yourself a decent, not too much angle on the six. I guess that's the only way to get yourself kind of out of position instead of staying in position. Oh, she decided to take a long six and especially with quite some angle as well. Let's see what she's gonna try to do because you can't really draw out of the uh, position where she is because then you might scratch inside. Yeah. So you, you and I was thinking to go for the seven in the right side pocket, but she obviously got too much angle on that now. So not sure what she can do. She's rolling it. Maybe shoot the seven down in the corner. Oh no. That's what that's me jinxing the way she was playing. <laughs> I was said she was playing better and looking better and all of a sudden she missed. That's what it is sometimes. One missed one little bit uh, posi position error yeah. all of a sudden now you're in this yeah. weird spot yeah. and you missed the ball and yeah she landed on the rail on for the five see yeah. frozen and all of a sudden made made the out much tougher. Oh, she missed it. What is she giving Jasmine? Long six ball. And that seven ball, well, I think Jasmine, she played for the seven ball in the bottom left corner, so it must go. But she's quite straight on this six ball. <laughs> Here comes the draw. Oh, nice, nice swing. Did cheat the pocket a little bit in her favor and she's back on track. Eight, nine, ten left. Three balls away from getting the lead. Three games to two. Three to two for Jasmine Ocean. Yeah, she's in the lead again. Here we have a nice view of the venue with the two T 
TV arenas. Let's feed back the stables here in the bottom. Free for any player the whole day. And the other match tables around the arena. Try to stay calm, stay in the moment. Don't don't uh, get down in yourself. Stay positive. That's the mindset. Believe in your abilities. That's Jasmine's pointers, I would guess. One o one of them, at least a few of them. Big break. Ooh. Again, not straight in the face and nothing. She's lost the cue ball a bit there, and well, we ha I as far as I can see, every time they have been breaking from the side and did not have a square hit, there's trouble on the table. Mm -hmm. The the air kick on the break, the the bustamante, <laughs> the bustamante break. <laughs> Okay. Needs to stop though. And probably is playing the ten ball. Uh, the two ball behind the ten ball. I'm sorry. Oh. Safety. She played a little bit more just cue ball, which she did very well. Didn't really look at the two ball that much. Just. Played pure cue ball. She grabbed her jump cue here. See if she can uh, jump over the, the four ball. Yeah, I think it's too close on the four to mm. jump this. Nice hit on the two, but she's not going to hide the cue ball. Not a big drama here, as it's just so tough to get on the three. So nothing's over yet in this game. going into them and that three ball doesn't go in the top right corner she might be able to cheat the pocket a little bit and if she shoots she has a two-way if she can just not hit the seven but I do like this better just get the kill ball behind the ten two rails nice safety put it Pressure on Jasmine here. In the sixth game of this important match, to stay in the World Championships. One Royal Escape. Oh, nice. nice shot. Yeah. She really needed to hit that edge and almost to perfection. She leaves a little piece of the three. But very containing. Safety. Another safety, let's see. No. And I wonder, can she maybe make the three ball? A rail nine into the side or? A rail first, you mean? Yeah, rail. Mm. So the three ball into the rail, hit the nine and then... Mm. Going the side. Let's see what she have in mind here. Or is she playing the same safety as Bojana, real thin, 
I leave the three in between those two balls. He uh, needs to run. I'm not sure. And I think yeah. she's playing it maybe a little two way to get the cue ball on the short rail as well. And Boyana to the table. Good opportunity. Let the cue ball fly. I don't know what, what she was trying to do, really. But at least she had something planned. That's for sure. There's a safety again, I guess. The four ball sneaks out. I wonder if it, she's going to bank it. If it banks, I don't know. From this camera view, it, this yeah, looks tough like to it see if she can hit it. Yeah, good enough. Here it looks like it does go, but in the other view, it looked like she couldn't really hit it too thick. Might if she plays. Oh, she called something. I don't know what she called. Oh, just a corner fall, just in case, and another chance for Boyana. I think she ran out of time there. Like she, had, she was rushing it. Long four ball. Just make up your mind. So you don't scratch. Yeah, I think this is a pretty natural stun. Little left spin. And if she can get just straight on the six or anywhere in the center of the table, she'll be fine. This drew the cue ball a little bit, but that's okay. Perfect on the six ball. Looks like we're gonna have a tied match here at three apiece if she runs these balls out. Yeah, good match to start off the day. And remember, you guys and girls, of course, can watch every match live here from the Predator World Women 10 Ball Championship. We have full live coverage on two tables, one on the World Billiard TV, YouTube, where you're watching right now. And the other one is on Billiard TV, which you can find at watchbilliard.tv. And all the other tables, you can go check them out at www.kazoom.com. Just register. And it's free to watch from there. So eight, nine, ten left on the table. Watch out. You don't want to be too close to the rail. She did get a little angle to the wrong side on the eight. And she was too scared to do a little bit more with the cube. I was yeah. probably going forward and... Trying to get some closer on the nine. So, a longer shot on the nine, but she has a good angle, just has to make this. Ooh. Oh. And that's a big, big swing. Three each or four two down. Yeah, she have to shake it off. Ooh, nine goes down. And ten is going to be down soon. 4-2 in favor of Ushan. And there it goes. 4-2 for the local Jasmine Ushan. A lot of women's matches going on here. We're going to see who's going to make the single elimination in the task for winning 
a title. No other than Alison Fisher is next against see from here. Here is a Filipino practicing. Huh? Jessica. She don't waste no time, huh? Yeah, and then we have also some more outsiders, of course. We have seen Elul Kibaroglu from Turkey before. She could be one to She's show herself. She's playing there, you see? Mm -hmm. Out one of the outside tables. She didn't make it a ball on the break, so opportunity for, for Ujan to score another point yeah the two passes in the side past the eight and goes in the side just make sure you get a, a good speed here with the pock the pocketing on the ball is not the e uh, hard but the speed one yeah two, two rails around is it going to end in stop in time i think it did pretty much perfect doesn't have to get perfect. straight on the three she can play another catch out on the three to go to the four she's having a good look at it just making sure she knows this is this is the big Kind of the big shot. If she gets this in good position, it's a good chance she's gonna run out. But look at where Q will end up. Also, we have another just on top of the six player, which has done quite well until now. It's Angeline Tikualu. Not sure if I said it right, but she's from Indonesia. She qualified straight for the last 16. So Jasmine found herself behind the six, unfortunately. That's uh, not where she wanted to be. She was trying to be either higher or lower. Oh, and she was playing one wheel here, and that was not possible. Mm -hmm. Again, her time was running out on the clock as well, and yeah, I. I Really like to go two rails there. Maybe she was trying to go two rails. She's misjudged. Maybe there was something in between. At least I'm not hundred percent if she was going <laughs> right at it or two rails. <laughs> Maybe she didn't make up her mind. I don't know. Well, one thing is sure: the time was playing a big role there. So Sarah with an opportunity here, a good opportunity. She needs to take it, otherwise, this match might get out, uh, get get out of her hands. the other TV table we have Seo Seawa versus Ellison Fitcher where the score is three each so another tight game on the watch TV stream
Nine ball in the side pocket. Okay, and of course already had the opportunity to go three each last game. So expect her to at least make the gap a little closer. Beautiful. Nice. Down goes the 10. Jasmine still leading 4-3, but it's not like one of both players is running away here. It's a close match. Good quality match so far, I think. Just a few mistakes from both players. Yeah, they both missed a handful of balls, not many yeah. of them. She don't seem too worried though, being down one game. <laughs> yeah, well. Here's some more uh, focus phase. Nice big arena here in Klagenfurt, Austria. A lot of space, the players love it. They have been enjoying themselves so far. That's what they have been telling me at least. <laughs> Just been breaking from the side again, same as she's been doing. Needs a square hit. And again, quite a miss hit. The only ball really moving was the seven, which hung up in that top left corner. She's got a lot of power on the break. Unbelievable. Still, she didn't make any ball. Crazy. So let's see what we have here. The one, I wonder if it passes in the corner. Past the nine. If it doesn't, what does it call the corner? Yeah, I think it does pass. Yeah. Are you holding the kill ball for the short side of the two, for the two in the side? Or are you going two rails? Either the side or the corner. Oh, she went for... Yeah, I was yeah, thinking maybe there. going two rails in between the... Nice shot. Balls. It was a good shot, actually. She made it look easy. But has some more work to do as the two doesn't go to the corner. It only goes to the side and then the three ball doesn't have all pockets available. Oh. oh. Yeah, she was trying to go with a lot of spin. Go and just close missed to the, the corners. Yeah, yeah. And just missed the corner. But unfortunately she got too much draw on that cue ball. Yeah. Too low on it. I'm giving Jasmine the ball in hand here. She did most of the work already for Jasmine. It's just if she can get on this four ball, then I would have her favorite to win this game. Nice and straight. Wouldn't have liked to have a small angle there because the four ball doesn't really go in the four full pocket. Four in the corner and five in the other corner. And the six you want to play down in the lower right corner so you can float naturally into the seven. Just a stop shot, yes. She don't want to scratch the side here. Make sure you don't, don't come too close but Still, you want to get a good angle on the six. Nice.
She's on cruise control here, Jasmine. Perfect angle. Yeah, just a little stun to not bump the 10 ball. Would get in trouble if she hits a 10. So a little stun forward to go to the long rail there. Perfect. Yeah, and I think Jasmine has found her rhythm. Just when I said that she looked pretty she good look there. She looked over to to something there. I, w I wonder if it was the clock or something. Look here now. She just misses and then she turns her. She yeah. looked over there. There's something was disturbing her. It was just because of the time probably. Oh. And did not see this coming at all. I wonder if there was a shot clock. Yeah, and also what, what wow. I... Wow. What I really wonder is, like, I don't even know why she would miss it that way. She didn't have to hold the cue ball or anything. Just a stun shot to the center of the table. She was looking back like there was somebody, somebody or something was disturbing her in the middle of the shot. But this to go for each. For 20-year-old Boyana Saraj. Wow, she could, she can't believe she's back at the table probably. Down goes yeah, the ten. I can't believe from four two that she's on four four. So Jasmine, what did disturb you on that shot? Because she turned her head like it was the shot clock or something. somebody talk maybe in the crowd there in the back or well <laughs> they're allowed to talk oh uh, maybe they called ten the seconds. 10 second just in at the in moment the of, in the middle of the middle of the ball yeah. and it's all it takes sometimes for you to miss a shot just just uh, a distraction something to that somebody says something or s something in your eye when you're shooting. Yeah, well, it's, it's it's an interesting discussion. We've heard this before. Like some players say, well, just oh, oh. miss cue. Jasmine, oh, whoa, back. Oh, okay, what's going ball on in here? Hand. And oh, there's a big chance we will see an attempt on three fouls here. Three consecutive fouls in a row. One with the four. Cue ball behind the five two, I think. Mm -hmm. I wonder if she's gonna try to break it up or she play safe. Didn't do much with the one ball. I think Georgiana does have a one or two rails. Yeah, she played it pretty soft. You gotta be sick miscuing on the break, huh? Yeah. And all of a sudden you find yourself behind the stack. A really tough kick shot. So there is a scratch there. S yeah, big scratch. Oof. Oh, and. I think that's quite unexpected that she misses this one because Jasmine didn't play a very strong safety as the one ball wasn't placed amazingly well. 
very close to hitting that. So let's see who she, how she's going to play safe here. Oh, the cube will behind the... Behind the 10-2. Ten ten yeah, 10-2-6, ten yeah. yeah. If she can stick it up there, then Boyana is in big trouble. Here comes the cue ball. It needs to travel, though. Oh, oh that oh. one is tough. It froze behind the 10. Now it makes it a lot tougher to hit the one. Yeah, and I see all sorts of trouble here. Two shots, maybe. Beautiful. Speed. Look at, look at. Just that little turn towards the end made it 10 times, 100 times tougher. Might be able to got three rails. Short rail, long rail, long rail. Missed the four. One. Was Tim talking about? Yes. Yeah. And or this one. But it looks like a little wide. But if she plays this hard, she can maybe shorten it up or maybe some right spin to go two rails, maybe three rails. But then she mm. needs a lot of speed. One, two. Like this, hit the oh, one. Oh, she hit it. <laughs> she did. Good hit from her. Wow. That's a great hit. Jasmine will smile there. She can't believe it that she is just barely make contact on this, otherwise she would have lost the rack there. Alright, so a new mindset for her now. What is she gonna do? Obviously the two is tied up with with a cluster down there, the five, ten, six. Makes yeah. it impossible to make it. But she's gonna try to play safety. Behind a 9-3 maybe, or at least get behind the cluster of balls, but now we might see it the other way around. Buyana trying to get Jasmine on three fouls. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that for a shot. Unbelievable, nice. Nice, well controlled from the young lady. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Here comes one, two, and then three behind these balls here. That's brutal, you're, you're almost like, just wonder rack, all of a sudden you find yourself behind these all these balls here so big swing in this match Ushan was just one ball away from the 8 and 10 left from being up 5 to 3 all of a sudden the time extension disturbed her and now it's 4 apiece and Sarah have ball in hand She wanted to be closer to that four, but now airborne probably from Jasmine. She's gonna jump this. Yeah, did she just get too close on the four or did she just not try to stick it to the four? Nah, I think she was trying to get closer so she can't jump it, but. It's better not than, than not, not to leave it. Well, there's a big safety too, yeah. If she catches this side oh, watch out. it was a big you don't safety. want it to fall yeah don't go in <laughs> <laughs> but there was a big chance of getting safe there Sarah with a jump cue flying over the seven yeah favorite to make this but what is she doing next on the two was she breaking, breaking it up? open Oh, <laughs> look <wow>. at this. <laughs> look at that for a shot. The three, unfortunately, doesn't pass, does it? The nine? No, I don't think so. But, I mean, look the, at first, this. the first start was getting Flew on the two. Flew over, hit it nicely thin. Cubal comes down, boom, hits the six, break it all open, nice. And she's got an open shot on the two. Game changer. Big time. Ball. Might be able to make the two and play another safe on the three. Oh, oh she missed it. Oh, she was gonna stick her behind the, the six with the cue ball after, see? That's what yeah. she was planning. 
I think she was but very conscious yeah. about where she wanted the cue ball. And that's See, if she made it too, she was gonna stick the cue ball behind the six there and leave the, the three ball up table. Now, Jasmine is calling the two on the side. Yeah, the kick and stick, low left. Oh, she didn't catch it thick enough and now the game is open. Long two ball. Pujana, she's been clinical on these long shots. And I don't expect anything else here. Clinical on these long shots. And this is also two way. If she doesn't make it, there's a big chance of having the 10, 6 or the 3 in between. See? But it goes in and. Long shots, the un unbelievable. But it's no problem for her. Very smooth execution from Boyana. Now I would probably draw back and take a longer shot on the four, like this. She has have so much confidence in her pocketing. She leaves, she leaves herself these long shots. Me, I want to be closer nowadays. I probably was the same when I was 20. You have no problem shooting these long shots. It's different when you become older. They tend to make the pocket seems to be smaller. <laughs> nice. Yeah, good like shape. Good shape. Perfect angle. If she had too much angle, she was going to bump into the 8 or maybe the 7. I think she might be able to have just enough to miss all that. Ooh, cue ball is going to be froze behind this line. Did That's she catch that 8 still? Yeah, she caught the 8 there. Did she make the 5 uh, ball yeah. a little, little thick maybe? This is no good for her. No, no, no good. All sorts of trouble. Let's see if she can make... Uh, almost. Hmm. And she had a good opportunity to take the lead again. So like this, so we go towards the end of the match. and Some unexperienced mistakes from her. I think once she improves some, of some, some parts of her, uh, her shots selections and, and about how to react in that case, I think she's going to raise her game because her pocketing is no problem it's just a matter of some shots are you have to learn the outcome of the shot more and that's what experience does so seven ball in the side and play the eight in the other side pocket nice little bump to push the nine ball over the corner mm -hmm. Can play this with some high right to the center of the table and just these three balls to take the 5-4 lead and let's see if she oh is she make sure she don't get uh, shrugged by the clock she's again. playing two rails around one okay little exhibition stuff okay it's about preference some players like to come around use the rails the stroke out and some players like to keep it simple and don't ah keep a little bit close to the rail still okay this is to be up go up to 5-4 for Ushan it's two games away from winning the match there goes the 10 5-4 she's up Yeah, Jasmine, Ushan, leaving the arena for a little break. She takes the lead 5-4. to four. 
and we will have a small break too. We'll be right back. Right, right. Stay tuned. And here we are back in the Sport Park Klagenfurt in Austria. Jasmine and Albin, Ushan's home town. They have their Ushan Buried Academy just next door from this venue. And we can already see some great players warming up here. You can see in the bottom of the screen, you can see Pia Filler and Robbie Capito with Amber Chan and then Jessica Centeno from the Philippines good really great field here good players pretty new field as well a lot of newcomers who are still trying to grow their game to one day become the world Temple champion we're still waiting for Jasmine to come back. There she is with her manager, Gerald. He's got so many names after Gerald that <laughs> I don't know which <laughs> one <laughs> it is. Gerald Horst. So Jasmine, five, four, two games away to reach the single elimination here in Klagenfurt. John Lehman, referee. So no success on the break so far. No breaks and runs. Just hard to make a ball. Let's see if she can make the one on the side. That's what she's aiming for. No. 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 Two ball got close, but again, not a square hit. And that bump on the Ooh. cue ball gave Bojana a pretty good opportunity. With the automatic angle on the one. Here we see it. The two ball kissed the cue ball all the way back up. I think she's trying to hit it too hard, in my opinion. Yeah, I'd rather be more straight in yeah. the face and softer yeah. than the big crush and yeah. no precision. Yeah. Feels like she's putting like more than 100% on the break and miss, kind of miss hitting the, even the cue ball. Yeah, and I see this a lot. A lot of the 
women players this week has been trying to crush the break as I'd rather just hit them well. Okay, left herself a little more angle on this three. I think it's still okay with some inside spin. And then she can go from the four to maybe the five in the bottom side pocket. So top left here on the three. No inside. Oh, well, I would put the inside on there just to get closer to the four. She don't mind the long I shots, though. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, that's I noticed that the way she plays, she's so confident in her pocketing. It's no problem for her. She don't want to be too cute. Make sure she make it. Yeah, she can choose to shoot the five in the bottom side. Or knowing her, she will play around the angles. One, two. Perfect speed. I expected her to do this, and she doesn't really do soft r spin shots and soft stun shots. She really likes to get the oh. her stroke out. Might be a heel heel match again, Tim. Might be, <laughs> but it all depends on Boyana because she has given Jasmine a couple games. So yeah. she does get the opportunities all the time, though. So if she can play a good final phase of this match then it's definitely possible. Mm -hmm. Just give yourself a good angle here on the seven. Good angle to where you can get, maybe shoot the, s the eight in the same pocket as you make the seven, I would think. Why not? Taking her time, making sure. <laughs> oh, doesn't want to go too far. She's still okay. She can play the eight ball to the same corner pocket as the seven. Just some top left. Ten seconds. Whoa! And again, no, no left spin on there. And she she hit it too thin, huh? Yeah, and the seven. Yeah, yeah. It was almost like she missed it. And, and That's she, the reason and why she didn't, she didn't put any spin on there as well. Yeah. So then she's playing the ten or ah? No, no, I don't think she called that and. Is safety. Jasmine. With opportunity. She probably can't believe she's back at the table. Yeah. You see a replay. She could have called it and just yeah. went all in on that. But. Unexperienced still. A few shots that she needs to improve. You know, it's the experience and what, what, what kind of shots is there for me. You know. Let's see what she's gonna do here. The 10 is, is laying by the pocket, so. If she's gonna leave the eight down in the lower, and here like this, she have to make sure it's leaving distance, that's good. Okay, and needs to have the cue on the rail, mm -hmm. which she did really nicely, because if Boyana can draw off the eight ball, then the 10 ball is pretty big. Let's see if she's gonna bank here. There's a I bank think she has to. Well, you don't have to do nothing, Tim. Yeah. So <laughs> 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 no, but she, can, she can play a safety, cue ball behind the nine. It's tough, I know, but it's not like you have to bank, right? Sh she if called you know the if bank. You oh, she did? Yeah. And it's just, I think it, there's also a good opportunity to She's be safe it. if she... Oh, good this effort. is looking good. No. Oh. And like I said, there's always this speed where you can leave a very tough shot for your opponent after if you take the bank on it was a good try she didn't leave super easy for Jasmine but you expect Jasmine to make these kind of shots huh yeah but I wonder is that 10 ball in between the jaws because that would make 
everything a lot easier on the nine. She's drawing it, so I think it doesn't go past the ten. So then this shot gets a lot more difficult. No, 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 no. Oh. No. No? <laughs> no I'm, I'm talking about the shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is tough. Tough shot. But she likes these long shots, though. She don't have a problem with the long shots. Yeah. I expected to make it just if, 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 nine she, if, if she only has to roll it in, yes. But I think she has to do a little bit more with the cue ball. Or is she playing the 9-10, the I difficult 9-10 combination? She's just going to make it. Wait, wait, look at this. Nice and easy. He's rolling it in there. Huh? Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yes. You're looking at me like yeah. I have to be surprised. No, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just impressed the way she's packaging these long shots, you know? Yeah, she has a good technique. Yeah. So what's, what does she call now? The 10? Did she call anything? Was she playing safe here, banking the nine ball to the other side? No, she plays the ten. No. Or was she trying to the play nine. it just beside the ten? She tried to play the nine. Yeah, and I did not like that at all. Just so low nah. percentage. I think the shot there was to play the ten, which she was laying. Yeah, the ten, or yeah. she could play it safe if she really did not like it. But I don't think this was an option. Oh, she's good shaking option. her head like it doesn't go. Huh? Maybe is this tricky? Maybe can sh she can shoot the 10. Is the 10 laying by the rail so she can't carry it either? I think she can if shoot it froze. into the rail of the 10, maybe. It looks like it does go. Oh, yeah, nice. nice shot. And oh, she was a little pumped there. Yeah? She, she went yes. Okay. You could see her body language go like, oh, yeah. Okay. Like and Six to four on the hill for Jasmine. Yeah, which should have been five each. She didn't get on the eight, even though she was in prime position on the seven. And then after, yeah, we just seen her miss the eight. I'm thinking. I'm looking oh, at. Nine. I'm thinking when I'm look back, it's towards the end of this match. It's three times where Sarah is 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 like uh, unexperienced mistakes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. once she once she improves her uh, shot selection, she will be a totally different. Yeah, player. just percentage. Yeah. like just the nine ball. She, she shot herself really on one shot. The seven. She never supposed to be behind. She hit the eight. She shouldn't you even know, be close yeah, to the exactly, eight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's just unexperienced. Yeah. Once she gets all these pieces together, she will be. Uh, she oh. will be. A, she will win championships guaranteed. Yeah. It's just a matter of what kind of championships. European Championships, no problem. I'll bet all my money that she's going to become the European Champions. It's just a matter of time. She keeps yeah. it up and practice, try to improve her, her, her uh, knowledge. Shot, your knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, just pocketing wise, she's like, uh, it's like you can look away. She, you know, she's going to make it. Yeah. And that's the strength itself. So Jasmine here. I think I got a warning from the uh, referee being too loud. I'm trying to. Okay. <laughs> John Lehman is laying out the warning for me. Push Yellow out. card. Oh! Ooh. Is she. <laughs> she hooked the herself. The drama is on the not done shot. yet. I wonder when it's going to be a drama free match. You have you had one yet? <laughs> huh? Mm. With some <laughs> drama? Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> I have a, a lot of drama in what's this. What's the, the all the matches you watched throughout uh, your life? You know when you said during the what commentary or no, just no, no, on no, the side. And, uh, any, any any match, like what's going on? Like you focus so much. What match in your in your uh, lifetime? <laughs> then I'll tell you. You mine. have so many <laughs> difficult <laughs> <put> questions. <laughs> I will leave me alone. Come on. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you alone. Oh, I'm putting you on the spot. Uh, <laughs> Give me a couple. Okay, minutes. you okay, think yeah, about yeah. it. Well, <laughs> let's talk about. Look, let's look at it. Okay, opportunity here for Sarah. Nice, perfect speed. Yeah, good angle on the three. Now make sure you come high enough so sh you don't have an angle. If she can get get a good uh, positional shot here, it's all there for her. Just make sure you get high enough. If not, then you make it tougher. 
This needs to run. Good cue ball. It needs to run. Perfect. Nicely. Wow. Huh? Very nice speed. And she's yeah, perfect it, yeah. to go to the yeah. five as well. If she would end up shorter, it would have been a lot tougher. Now she's perfect position. Nice cue ball. You know, it's quite hard to look like to watch this match because you know the score should have been way different. But Bujana just has left Jasmine a couple really easy games. Of course, that's how the game goes, but you just know that it could have been way different. That's also something a lot of players say afterwards when they finish their match and they lose this way. They really feel like, oh man, I had so many opportunities and I really could have beat Jasmine in this case. Like, But it's not over yet. So ba back to the question. Him. I'll give you some, uh, I some don't more know. time if, you, if, you, if you don't know now maybe next time we commentate together surely but I have one that sticks out for me where I couldn't I couldn't really leave the, the TV screen you know it was live in Cardiff when when Earl Strickland and Steve Davis were at it in a single elimination I think it was the quarterfinal the last 16 and there was some high drama then Earl was off the air asking Steve Davis, where is he going now when he took a timeout and cussing at the referee? <laughs> and in the end, uh, Earl ended up winning. And uh, Steve oh. Davis missing a fairly easy shot with the rest with the bridge. And Earl getting up on the chair and saying, he dogged at his green. <laughs> 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 and the crowd was going crazy in Cardiff. Oh, I yeah, think that, I think that, that, was one, that was probably the, the most uh, drama, well, I pack, think drama one packed one the, uh, match I've seen. One of the best matches I have seen is uh, Kazakis with David Okade in the World Pool Masters. Mm. The one where it went like both ways and Kazakis played at safety on the nine ball at the end and David speared it in and down goes the ten. It was just a clinical from her. Huge six to moment. five. Sarah is done. Just one game. Yeah, good run out here. And referee John Lehman. Putting the balls together. Yeah, no, afterwards, the, the interview with Earl, it was a. What? Mm. The interview with uh, Earl afterwards, he said, This is the Steve Davis show. And he <laughs> 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 we went on and on. <laughs> yeah, we Like he was getting heated o even after he won. <laughs> He's like, this is the Steve Davis show. It's all about him. Uh, da da da. You know. Well, we know how he is. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. it's, it's always the same. Same old. I same think he old. felt bad that he got out of line. You know, in that match. Then the match after he brought flowers to Michaela. <laughs> yeah, sorry for what I did the last match. You know, it's uh, fantastic. Okay, Jasmine breaking here. Okay, let's see if she takes some speed off this time. See that squared some speed off, huh? What do you think, Tim? She does. Make, make, uh, yeah, she's gonna all go all in. And look at the cue ball. Oh, she made a four. Oh yeah, she she made a ball, but just that. And she's got ball. a shot. Look at this. Huh? <laughs> yeah, don't ask me how. <laughs> a lot of kisses there, but. Not a super easy out though. Especially I mean obviously the first shot is a tester. Imagine just the six ball being in a tough position. It's in front of the hole, but it's very tough to go from the six to the seven. Mm -hmm. And this one ball is not a gimme either. Really has to put a big stroke on this. You know it's amazing when you look at these kind of things, you know, it's so easy to get down to uh, hard to get down to the seven for example. Low right. And a player like Efren. Oh. What would Efren do? Right? Yeah. Oh, there is he, a... He, he invented so many different kind of shots, Efren. A lot of players 
learn a lot from him because he, he developed a lot of shots that people didn't know so, so i do like to maybe run shot. into the seven or the eight here yeah just to separate them a little nicer so you have more options later you're guaranteed to be on the three anyways mm. nice. i like that he's gonna come around one two three rails <coughs> shoot the five in the upper left corner pocket and like you said tim th this make it a lot easier because the seven passes in both corners instead of just one because the nine is covering the path for the for the cube to travel so she had to draw it so jasmine taking her time here she knows this is a big shot yeah three wheels around the corners playing the shot clock make sure she didn't get disturbed again and has to make sure to minimum get to the center of the table and from there she always will Oh, it wiped its feet, but good speed. It hit the titty a little bit. Huh? The point. See? Oof. Nice one. So... This is key shot. So let's see if she's gonna come up in the middle of the table or draw it from the rail. I mean, using coming up on the the long right rail, so to say. Or well, how do you say it? Draw With it. the long rail. Yeah, I think yeah. she's gonna come up center table. Huh? Second. Well, she's come going to draw rail. the cue ball, and she's got like so this. many spots perfect. where she can end up. Oh, perfect. She's yeah, perfect, perfect speed. And nice, nice shot. Now it's looking no good for Boyana. Yeah, she hit that six ball uh, with confidence. You know, you don't want to be too scared and get too long of a shot on the seven. Now she's just perfect. She can, uh, she have a lot of options. She can shoot the eight in the side. She can shoot it, shoot it in the corner. She can shoot it in upper left corner pocket. It's, this is a preference. And she. Oh. Okay, she's okay. Little off angle. <laughs> I think she was trying to shoot the eight in the side, no? I, I don't she really, kinda, I don't she really know where she went. Oh, she's going in the corner here. Right yeah. upper. Right corner. So she's guaranteed having the nine ball after. Don't rush it. Stay nine. down. Okay, she's not floating the eight. She's playing with a little stun. No. Is it, it in? She was low on yeah, the cue ball. In. Nice shot. Yeah, and this looks like it's over. Just these two balls left. Yeah, I think the experience won uh, Jasmine this match, in my opinion. The more experience. More experience and her game coming along, I think. She's playing better and better than every match I see her now. Yes, yeah, she's going to be in the hunt for the championship this week. Down goes the 10 and she's fist pumped. She's She's pumped. She wants to win this World Championships in her home city. Yeah. yeah. Jasmine Ocean wins 7-5 over Boyana Saraj here and qualifies for the last 16. Mm. And thank you all for watching. Thank you, Tim. With me was we'll Marcus Shamat. We'll um, be back at I'm 11. Tim De Ruiter. And we'll be back at 11. Yeah. Rejoin thank us, please. Thank you. you.